to where are agricultural regions and LDCs. The learning goal would be to describe the four different types of agriculture typically grown in less developed countries and then also draw conclusions about their location and how that is based on the climate. The concept list is shifting cultivation, which is the first agricultural region, and things that go with sh shifting cultivation would be slash and burn agricultural practices, swidden and intertillage. I'll show you a picture of, of intertillage. Um, Swidden is just the area that has been cleared, and intertillage, you can see on top, is where you have a variety of plants growing. So you'll have fruit trees, maybe banana trees or other tropical fruit trees, and then things on the ground like sweet potatoes or other plants. So mixing the different types of plants helps to put nutrients back into the soil um, and also the nutrients that each plant takes out of the soil is different. So it actually helps to maintain the healthiness of the soil. Um, intertillage is the opposite really of what's called monoculture, which is when you plant all one crop like you see here uh, this corn field in the United States. So intertillage is a shifting cultivation practice. It's also a organic farming practice in the United States too. Continuing with our list, um, pastoral nomad is the second agricultural region that you'll be reading about. And some terms that go with that would be transhumance, which we've talked about before, which is seasonal uh, migration. Uh, pasture is basically the area where the animals would, would graze. Patriarchal system is typical of a pastoral nomadic uh, herding group, and that just means that the man, the, the, the man of the house, is the head of the house. Um, compared to a matriarchal system with a M, that would be where the mother is really the head of the house and, and the lineage is passed down through the mother's line. Um, but patriarchal, the lineage um, with maybe property rights or um, the, the name is passed down through the father's, uh, father's line, which is typical of what you'd find in the United States. Um, then the second two um, agricultural practices, which you'll read about the next night, would be intensive subsistence agriculture. And Derwent Whittlesey divides this into intensive subsistence uh, wet rice dominant and intensive subsistence wet rice not dominant. That just means that um, sometimes in some group, uh, areas they mostly grow rice because the climate is um, conducive to rice and there's a culture of growing rice like in Asia. And then wet rice not dominant means that they're still intensively growing food, um, but they are not growing rice. They might grow corn or millet or something different in another part of the world. Uh, sawa, uh, thresh, chaff, winnow, and hull all go with um, intensive subsistence, um, but they might go with other kind of agriculture practices too. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm going to show you a picture of that. Uh, but let me just go ahead and do plantation agriculture. Um, that's the, the, the last type of agriculture region that's typically found in an LDC. And you'll read about that. So looking at um, a couple of words that you won't find in your book. Thresh is when you beat the, the holes, the seeds, off of the, um, the stalk. So you see up here... These men are beating these, uh, the grain that is um, on the, the stalks here against these uh, pieces of wood and that the grain falls off. Here's another um, picture, too, of, of um, them threshing. Winnow, on the other hand, is now you've taken all of this that's been beaten off. There's the chaff, which is the, the light um, kind of straw part. It's not the seed. And the hull is called the seed. And so you see these, uh, this woman here and these young girls, um, this woman here will drop the, 
the, um, the chaff mixed with the seed from one bowl to another, and the wind blows away the chaff, and she's left with the seed that she might grind for grain, uh, for flour, and that is winnow. These girls are winnowing in another way by throwing up the, the grain mixed with the chaff, and the wind will blow away the chaff, and then she's, they're left with seed. This, looks, this is probably most likely rice. All right, the way that I would like you to take notes, or at least these are the topics I'd like you to take notes about, um, you could do it in a chart if you like, that um, maybe, you know, that would work, or at least take notes about these nine different things. Uh, for tonight's homework, it would be shifting cultivation and pastoral nomadism, and then I'll show you the, the next night. So I want you to note the, the type, of shift, uh, type of agriculture in an LDC, um, obviously, it, it's an LDC, so I want you to say if it's an LDC or an MDC where it's typically found, what is the climate like? Um, and you can look at the climate map on page 336 in your book. What's the global distribution? Meaning, where in the world do you find shifting cultivation? And you'll find that looking at the Whittlesey map on page 336 and 337. Uh, you will actually be drawing or coloring on your map where the shifting cultivation is located. Um, the next topic would be the products, either the crops or the animal products that are produced um, using this type of agriculture. Is it intensive or is it extensive? Intensive, remember, you're trying to get as much out of the land as possible. Extensively, you're not putting a lot of pressure on the land um, and not trying to get the most out of the land. Is it subsistence or commercial? And then specific details about the cultivation practices include any kind of vocabulary, um, any other details. And then concerns or problems with the sustainability of the practice in the future. Sustainability is can they continue to practice in the manner that they're practicing? Um, is it sustainable? Is it something they can continue in the future? Um, right, so you'll be doing that for shifting cultivation and pastoral nomadism. And then the next night homework, next night's homework, you'll be doing the same thing, these same topics, but with intensive subsistence agriculture. You can go ahead and group that together. And then plantation farming. And that's it.